So here we go. Now, uh, what I'm about to do is a quick live tutorial on the NVIDIA control panel and how it can increase the graphics in your Fallout 4 to look a lot better. Clean up your ATA aliasing and um, a few other things. And I mean like a pretty good graphical increase too. Alright, so um, I'm going to do this live on Twitch real quick because... I know it won't really make too big of a difference, but when you do the settings on your own system, you'll be able to see the differences in it. Um, probably not as good on, on here what I'm going to do. So, first I'm going to run the game straight out, you know. Of course, before you before you do this, you want to go into your Fallout 4 options and uh, max out your game, or you know whatever the situation may be. Maybe it ain't maxed out, or you know you just want to get your settings max for your system. Okay, so the first thing you notice when you when you start this game, all right? I mean when you get to this loading screen which I haven't even started the game yet because this was too disturbing it just bothered me too much with all of the shaky anti-aliasing in it you know it's like a lot of off shadowing too if you're looking at the bobblehead and the guns on the wall it's just stuff in there that you know the game look good or not that, that kind of stuff ain't really what you want so uh, after doing some tinkering, I found out a few uh, quick ways to make it look a lot better. So, um, what you want to do is use this screen. This is the only screen I've ever seen. See, no load because I ain't start the game yet. I, I had to stop right here and just get it together. So, um, now I'm going to quit out of here. Just wanted to run it so you could get an idea. Oh, the magazine's another good point to look at when you look at the edges and on the corners of the magazines. That give you a good idea too of where you stand as far as the graphical settings go. All right, so you want to quit out, get out of there. Let's get to the NVIDIA control kind of part of it, which I'm sure <laughs> that's probably what everybody go with anyway. Maybe I <laughs> just skipped to that part in the first place. Bump it. It's a live tutorial. Live tutorial. Alright. It's gonna be messed up. Alright, so but all right, here we go to this NVIDIA control panel. Let's get her open. Oh you gotta do that again? Okay, hold on. That's the sucky part about streaming the NVIDIA control panel. You gotta add it as you stream. So sorry about that, but hold on, I'm just gonna get to it. Um, come on, one back. All right, there we go. Okay. Now. In this NVIDIA control panel, let's try to make it so you. Alright. Now, in the NVIDIA control panel settings, what you want to do, alright, we're going to start with the basics. Number one, always power management. Prefer maximum. You don't need the computer calculating that. Let it ride. <laughs> Number two, anti aliasing transparency. I run an AX uh, super sample. Alright. I know they got their own settings for it in the Fallout 4. I know. But trust me when I tell you, it ain't doing the job like the NVIDIA control panel doing the job. And the, the difference is I'm talking about everybody gonna notice it alright so AX super sample 
definitely. Uh, this multi-frame sample, MFAA, Psst. turn that on. Down here at this texture filtering quality, you want to cut that on down to the high quality. I mean, bring that up to the high quality, you know? Just get it out the way. Uh, another one I saw that I ain't 100% on how much of a difference it actually make. You know what? Before I get to that, I'm going to just run it like this to see how noticeable the differences are right now. Just like this. Oh, you know, no. And then the anti aliasing you want to put that on um, enhance the application setting and turn it up to the 8x, which is odd, I know, but it, it, it'll add to the setting of the game itself. So, And then with these uh, quick couple ones you end up looking like this uh, you can set this to clamp if you want you don't have to but you can I'm gonna set mine to clamp okay so that's the Nvidia control panel part right there so now I'm gonna run it again run it again here you should be able to see the difference. I'm talking a big difference too. So. So now when you do get a kick back up, the first thing you'll notice is along the edges of the helmet, it ain't as bad. You'll also notice that on the bobblehead and the guns, it's less of the shake of the anti-analyzing on the bottom of the guns and on the bobblehead's uh, lighting on his face, it's more uh, distinct. And then as far as his... Um, Pit boy on the desk, you'll notice that ain't anti aliasing. Uh, it's doing better, it's doing a better job on the edges. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now you can go out of there. Because what I want to see is how much of a difference. It actually make yeah maybe I could even make this because if I I could post all this on there but I really don't want to post so much so maybe mm -hmm. Let me make a judgment call on this. I'm going to stop 